Let's use a notebook to drive model dimensions in top-down design. I have a notebook open and you can see that there are a number of different dimensions on here. There is a table that documents their different values and I'm just going to use a couple to drive the dimensions in the connecting rod and the end cap. I'm going to use the length of the connecting rod and the diameter of the connector bearing. Let's go over to the assembly and I have a few annotations on my screen that are showing me those different dimensions. Let's go to the connecting rod. I will open it and if I go to a combination state there you can see those annotations for the dimensions and before I connect the model to the notebook I'm going to show you the parameters. So I go to the parameters dialog box and we can see some general model ones, some wind chill related ones, materials, etc. Now to connect the model to the notebook I can go to the model intent drop down menu and there is a declare command. This will open the menu manager then I'll choose declare notebook and I'll select the notebook that I have in session that I want to use. Now when I go back to my parameters, I'll scroll down. There are a bunch more that are available in here. And if you see the access, it says that they are locked and the source is a notebook. So now that I've got these additional parameters available to the part, I can write relations. So let's go to the relations dialog box and I'm just going to put a few extra lines up here at the top and let's collapse the local parameter section just so I have some more real estate inside of here. I put them up here. Go all the way to the top. Okay. So, I always like to start with a comment line. Any line that starts with a forward slash and asterisk is a comment line. And I'll write drive model dimensions from notebook. And when I went to the relations dialog box, it automatically toggled the dimensions from their numeric form to the symbolic form. So first off, the D3 dimension, we're going to have that be equal to, and I'll use the insert selected dialog box and find the parameter that I want. And this one is going to be the con length. There we go. Insert selected. And for the other one, I'm going to have the D70 dimension be equal to, and then insert selected again, scroll down in the list. This time I'm looking for con bearing diameter. And insert selected. Let's verify. Everything's good. Click the OK button. And when I regenerate my model, now it's a value of 47 and this is a value of 125. Let's go back to the assembly and open up the end cap and repeat the process. So again, we'll use the declare command to declare the part to the notebook. Now I can go to my relations and And here, this time, for expediency, I'm going to skip writing my comment line. The dimension is going to be equal to insert selected. You could type it manually if you happen to know the name. But again, this way I can make sure I'm not accidentally going to mistype it. And we can verify everything's good. Click the OK button. Regenerate and the 40 changes to a 47. Go back to my assembly and now these different components 
Oh, let's regenerate the assembly, move that component back to its correct place. Now my models are being driven by a notebook, and this is an essential part of top-down design. We have our skeletons drive geometry, and our notebooks can drive critical dimensions and parameters. One last thing, let's take a look at an example of a design change with a notebook. So I'm going to go to the parameters dialog box, and let's change that bearing diameter. Right now it has a value of 47. I'm going to change it to 44 and click OK. And so now, when I go back over to the connecting rod assembly, they have a value of 47. I'll click the Regenerate button, and both of them change to a value of 44. So again, we're driving multiple components from the notebook. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you.